of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Championship of the world. If he's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on 33 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Clover Teixeira. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Bruno Czech Republic, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion, Yuri Denisa Kosaka. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it up Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fight. Oh! Oh! advantage and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Good punch land. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Big kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Straight right hand, no good. Oh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. He got his foot on the hip and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch it. And he's out. Well, he's up. But he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Just over 20 total strikes. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, oh, those are those. Oh, oh. Timely D 
defense there, huge block for him. Oh, big right! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this Oh, he might be out. What a fight! Oh, nice right hand. Oh, straight right. Just that. Oh. Oh. that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Sashira gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find he's a way to move. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, straight right. Oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Back to the feet. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And they set. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Pretty good jab there by Tashera. every part of himself is hitting big leg kick. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Just missed with the left there. but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more balls. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Mixes in an elbow there. No! <laughs> Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. And oh! Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Teixeira. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking 
advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, a little single column tie there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Teixeira gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Watch the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's out. Oh. He's out. He got him. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion. This has long been the UFC's glamour division. And man, did he get it done with style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Chloe Teixeira. All right, so how about that? We got a new UFC light heavyweight champion, and he looks like he might retain this title for some time, DC. I mean, when you can come through this division, when you can beat all the great fighters at 205 and become the champ, your name will ring bells across all sports, and tonight, this guy became a star.